Hi guys, it is a beautiful day. I feel like I'm still dreaming because I woke up at my normal time and then somehow I went back to sleep until like 10, which is when I wanted to leave the house. But Kurt was also like sleeping in late, so he didn't wake me up. So I woke up and I like immediately just got dressed and went out the door, but I still feel asleep kind of, so. That's fun, but basically today we're just gonna walk around, get some fresh air. It is, like I said, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna hit a really cool bakery that I'm excited to visit. And then we're probably gonna just take a really nice long walk, which I'm excited about. And I gotta focus on actually finding the place. So see you at the bakery. So yeah, I, I have to do this really fast because Billie Eilish is on the background. I haven't had a proper cinnamon roll in years and this icing is... like the perfect summer day like I'm eating sugar drying this is Taylor Swift <laughs> mm -hmm. okay that spot was so cute and the bread was so good yeah I was just kind of alone out there and having my little sing-along which was so lovely um, I'm trying my best not to connect my phone to Wi-Fi when I'm at a cafe because I found that I often just like sit and scroll which I could do at home why am I in a cafe so yeah that was nice to just sit and sing along to Taylor Swift <laughs> and now I'm gonna catch a bus to Yoido so many lilacs it's kind of the last of them so I'm taking off the mask to make sure I get it all Yoido is such a strange place because most like tourists I guess and myself think of it as like the park and where the cherry blossoms are but it's actually like a major business center like so many huge offices are here so I'm currently here on a weekday and it's around lunchtime and everyone is just taking their lunch break walking around but it's just very funny to see like hordes and hordes and hordes of people in suits taking a walk by the by the river <laughs> it's lovely but Anyway, um, oh, there's a cottonwood tree. This is the big tree that I had in my backyard when I was a kid. I'm gonna say hello to it, and then I'm gonna look at the river, and then we're gonna cross the river. Exciting day. In the summer, this all fills up with water so you can just sit and like cool off your feet play in the water very lovely fun fact about the Han River while we're here um, the Han is really, really big um, for like city river standards. 
It's really big. And so actually, when Seoul first was a city, um, the Cheonggyecheon, that little stream um, in its natural form, was kind of the divider between North and South Seoul. And it wasn't until like the 80s that Gangnam started to build and Seoul expanded across the Han because in the like olden times, it was near impossible to even cross the Han River. So it didn't make sense to have a city divided by such a big thing. So it wasn't until like bridges and then more like ferries and stuff started being built that it was even possible for Seoul to have Gangnam. Something interesting, because when people come here, they're always like, damn, the Hong Kong is huge. And yes, yes it is. But yeah, we're crossing and we might go to a thrift store. Bye. Okay, we are in Kongduk Station and we're going to the thrift store that's having a sale, which uh, hopefully I won't fall prey to, but we'll see. The material feels like it would be hell to wear in summer and that's what I gotta think about, so. <laughs> Just rock out, nothing good. Oh well, there are more. my hair up because it is hot um, and I'm hungry but it's a little bit late in the day we're gonna have dinner uh, soonish if you guys remember from my like soup escapades where I have blended soup before um, I had this big old blender that I bought off of somebody who was moving um, but I upgraded and I got a new one and it is so much easier to clean so I'm using it so much more so I'm going to make a smoothie out of the bananas that are going bad real bad real fast so let's do it Gonna add a little bit of my super green food blend from the reserve. Add a lot. And I'm actually just gonna add water. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna drink this. I am going to read. I believe I got a book in and I need to read it. ASAP. Let me see how this is. Could have used a little more mango. Still lovely. I approve. All right. Catch you later. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I don't know what we'll get up to, but I'll bring you along, whatever it is. Bye. <laughs> I can't reach you. Also, Kurt is selling this painting. Um, he's kind of serious about it. I don't know if he doesn't even know how to ship things and stuff, but he really doesn't love it even though i do but he wants it out of the house and um he, he says he wants 200 dollars for it so if any of you are interested let me know um but yeah his uh his little his little painting all right now i'm gonna go bye <laughs>
Mart haul. How exciting. And now I'm going right back into reading my book because I like pain and I'm going to finish this and then I have a really long time to wait for the sequel on my holds list. So let's go destroy my life. I hate how Lee Bardugo's books always say that they have a bunch of pages, but then it's all like the keep reading for a sneak peek. So it's like the first chapter of the second book. But so I always think like, oh, I have a hundred more pages left to read. And I don't. And I don't. <laughs> Greetings. Um, Kurt has a dinner meeting tonight, which means I have the night to myself and I'm starting another book. I know I'm just like tearing through <laughs> of everything I can get my hands on, but um, I'm going to go to Cafe Tajagi. I haven't been in that area in like two months, I think. So yeah, I'm going to head over there, um, hopefully catch a nice sunset. And yeah, I know that it's a place I've taken to you guys, I've taken you guys to before many times, but it brings me a lot of peace. It's a great place to just read and stare out the window. And that's exactly what I'm in the mood for. So let's go. Section, I feel like the grandma in Mulan that just like closes her eyes with the cricket and crosses the street because there is no rhyme or reason for how these cars come and go. You just kind of have to go and it's very scary, but no lucky cricket today. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Okay, I'm actually gonna head home and cook myself some dinner, nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, that was just a really nice calming day. I really don't know where this vlog is going. I thought I was gonna have like two interesting days and now I have like one and a half kind of interesting days. Anyway, um, thank you if you've made it this far, but yeah, I'm gonna head home now. So see you there. right now um so it is saturday i didn't film on thursday or friday because it was a holiday and so kurt was working from home and i just i don't know wanted to take that time off to just hang out with him um i'm gonna do i'm just gonna run one little errand um and we're gonna go to the art store and a lot of people are asking me where it is i usually go to there there's one in insadong there's actually a much much bigger one in the gosok uh, express bus terminal um so we're just gonna run over there kurt is out of paper and shoot he wanted one other thing i want to pick up a few things i'm so tired and out of it if you can't already tell so hopefully 
this goes okay and I'll just come home and I'm gonna make pasta um that's that's my really exciting day so thank you for sticking around for this <laughs> let's go it is also so nice out today my I hate these masks so much they make me look insane but I am literally just wearing this like quite thin linen top and my jeans and for the wedding I wore sandals like no socks it was perfect weather it's a little windy today but um yeah summer is here on wednesday it's gonna be 28 degrees which is like quite quite warm so where was spring i don't know uh but yeah that was just another little weather update because you know that's all i do on this channel so all right out we go Unfortunately, that mission was a fail. Um, they only had like really small paper. They had so much paper, but it was all watercolor. But Kurt uses acrylic and they only had like one acrylic paper set sheet, whatever. And uh, they were really small. So, and they didn't, even, they didn't have canvas as far as I could tell. So, I don't know. We got two of the three things that he needed. I ended up not getting anything, which is good for me. Um, and now we're gonna head home because I'm starving. Okay, I am here with my pasta and the messy room behind me. Um, I'm just gonna watch a movie, honestly. I'm not gonna do anything exciting and um, it's so, hot like i i forgot how stressed i get when i get sweaty which makes me sweat more um so yeah i'm i'm just i just want to relax and i have the windows open and i just want to like chill out so that's all um i hope that I'll take my socks off too um i hope that this wasn't too boring but um yeah i've just been kind of taking it easy we had a very long weekend um, so I just feel like this week didn't even really exist. Very strange. Um, I have a couple like freelancing projects that I'm working on, um, which is fun. And then at the end of this month, I finally get to talk about the thing that I have been working on, um, which, yeah, I'm super excited. I can't believe that I kept it a secret this long. Um, luckily, a lot of it's been out of my hands, so I've been able to like forget for a little bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a really cool announcement, a really cool creative project that I've collaborated with. Um, at the end of the month, I have dropped a few hints, I think. Um, a couple of you guys messaged me and you already know, please don't comment what you think it is. Um, if if you're pretty sure what it is, don't comment because I do wanna keep it a little, a little bit of a secret. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat my pasta gonna wash this sweat off of my face and I will catch you guys later yeah thank you for joining me um, hopefully I have a couple more interesting videos planned later and I promise you a Lee Bardugo book video is coming so yeah and I will talk to you soon stay safe stay well love you always bye